Three months after his last very public appearance, Prince George made an outing at last. The newest heir to the throne looking pretty content in the arms of another. Surrounded by family, royalty, yes, but granddad and great grandmother too. Was that George giving a little wave to Her Majesty? Dad expressed relief his boy had stopped crying at last before being ushered inside the Chapel Royal to join a congregation which in size and shape reflected a very different style of monarchy. The royal members were few and close. William's cousin Zara Tyndall, one of the godparents, but this was to be an intimate affair. Kate's mum, dad, sister and brother enter together, the baby already well accustomed to the famously tight unit. And the close friends who the Duke and Duchess had chosen to make up their complement of seven guardians for George. In the past, members of the royal family tended to choose other royalties to be the godparents of their children because they spent their time with them. For Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge, they now spend their time with a very different group of people. They're friends from university, so they are the ones they trust, and they put George in those people's hands. The doors remained closed during the short service inside the intimate chapel at St James's Palace. Prince Harry and Pippa Middleton gave readings, and an anthem written for William's own baptism was performed, before a clearly delighted mother gave the cameras another glimpse of the royal baby wearing a replica of the intricate gown made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter. The crowd outside couldn't see it, but they didn't seem to care. He's three months old yeah. and it's lovely that they're doing it so close because it's a close family. They, they've kind of, they've said, haven't they, that they're not going to make it quite as big. It's a different tone now altogether than what it used to be in, uh, years ago. It's uh, more open, people can relate to them in a, in a sense. I think everybody's so excited because obviously he's going to be king one day. And then it was off for the official christening snaps. A celebrity photographer hired to capture a monarch and three future monarchs together. They are destined to be historic images and may help this young prince get used to being as keenly watched as his parents. Michelle Clifford Sky News at St James's Palace in London.